Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Sony SRS WS1 immersive wearable speaker. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 300 bucks. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer an important question. Which one is better, the WS1 or the Bose Soundware? Let's find out. First up, let's go through all of the features. Completely immerse yourself in sound. A dynamic sound experience that doesn't isolate you from your surroundings. Full and clear audio is channeled towards your ears while minimizing the sound for others. Feel the intensity from vibrations that accompany the bass sounds. Low frequencies are detected and translated into natural feeling vibrations. Now you got three modes, high, low, and off. Now check this out, this is important. The SRS WS1 uses 2.4 gigahertz RF wireless technology, providing a lower latency connection, bringing a more responsive listening experience, not Bluetooth. I repeat, this is not a Bluetooth speaker. Now we'll talk more about that in a second. Comfortable, lightweight, and secure for long periods of use, it only weighs 0.74 pounds. Now the setup is easy. Simply plug the transmitter into a TV with the included digital optical cable or an audio cable. Now this features wireless charging. Simply place in the charging stand to charge it. Now it takes three hours to fully charge and you get seven hours worth of playback. And you also got peace of mind, a one year limited warranty. All right, so all of that for 300 bucks. Let's see what it is. Now shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Here we go, Sony SRS WS1 immersive wearable speaker. Okay, nice presentation alert, clean white box. You know what it is. All right, so let's unbox this inside. Now this is gonna be your speaker. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a second. Let's open this up, peel that off. Okay, now this is gonna be your transmitter. Now in order to connect this to your TV, you're gonna plug in the power source. You can either use your optical cable or an audio cable. Okay, simple and straightforward. This is your wireless charging stand. So all you're gonna do is plug this into a power source, rest the speaker right on it, and charge it up. Now of course, you got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them, and a bunch of accessories. So let's see what we got on deck. Okay, so this is gonna be your digital optical cable. Okay, you got a 3.5. You got two power plugs. This is gonna be your 3.5 to micro USB cable. Now, like I said, this is not a Bluetooth speaker, so if you wanna rock this on your phone or your tablet, you're gonna need this. And you also get two USB A's to micro USB cables. This is for the transmitter, and that's pretty much it. Now, for the speaker itself, definitely has a nice lightweight feel to it. Let's get this plastic off the top. This is gonna be your LED indicator. So when you charge it up, that turns green, and when you power it on, it turns green. Matter of fact, let's see if we got any juice. See that green light? Okay, just turned it back off. On one side, you got Sony branding. Okay, Sony branding on the other side. Cloth material, no padding on this. All right, so it's a plastic shell with just cloth padding. I'm not cloth padding, a cloth a cloth feel over it. No, no, this is not padding. You see it, you can't press it. It's kind of hard, giggity. Now you got your power button, and this is gonna be your three different bass modes. So you got high, low, and off. On the other side, you got volume up and down, and you got a micro USB charging slot. So if you want, you can charge these up directly from, from the speaker, or you can use the wireless charging stand. Simple and straightforward. Now let me plug this in so you can see what it looks like when it's charging. All right, so I got the wireless charger plugged in. When you wanna charge up the speaker, just rest it on the cradle. Now you heard that sound when you take it off. Makes another sound. Sound when you put it on. Sound when you take it off. Now like I said, it takes three hours to fully charge and you get seven hours worth of playback. Now before I start my testing, I just wanna make sure that we crystal clear on this. This is not a Bluetooth speaker. So if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker to wear while you're riding your bike, then you gotta go with the Bose. The Sony is really for using in the house, watching movies, and gaming. 
But if you want to connect it to a phone, just grab your phone. If you got a phone with a headphone jack, that's even better. If not, grab your adapter. You're going to plug it into your phone. The other end, right into this micro USB. Now you can play music directly from your phone. Now, the first test that I want to do is an ambient sound test. So I'm going to grab some phones, we're going to pair these up, and just play the music right from the speakers on the table and see which one sounds louder just using ambient sound. All right, so first we're going to start off with the Sonys. Now keep this in mind. This is how it's going to sound when you're sitting next to somebody who has these around their neck. Here's the bows. All right, now in terms of volume, they pretty much sound the same. The Sonys might be a little bit louder, but when it comes to bass, the Sonys definitely have more bass. You can already hear that. Now I wanna try something else. I'm gonna simulate putting these around your neck. So let's try the Sonys one more time. Now I'm gonna put them around your neck. Okay, now here's the bows. Now keep this in mind, <laughs> this is just a simulation test, but I can tell you one thing, holding the Sonys in your hand, that vibration is crazy. I can't wait to put these around my neck. Let's keep it moving. Now let's see how they're gonna look when you're actually wearing them. With the Sonys, they do stretch, not ultra flexible, but they can stretch. Now I got a big neck, fits right on. A little bit of weight, you can tell you got these around your neck but they feel comfortable. Now with the bows, these stretch all over the place. So you can wear them wide or you can wear them tight. Now the bows are a little bit more lightweight and definitely a little bit easier to wear. Let's slap the Sony's back on, just like that. All right, so now for the most important part, the sound test. Now I'm gonna start off using the bows and now I'm gonna try the same song using the Sony's. Here we go. Now this is one of my classic test songs that got a lot of bass, so let's ride out. All right, here we go, here we go. The Birdman hands, let's go. Yeah, I love these. <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up. All right, now I love the Bose ones. I've been using these for years. Let's try the Sonys now. All right, so now I'm gonna try the Sonys and I'm gonna start with the bass off. Okay, now as far as loudness, pretty much sound the same. Nice and loud, crystal clear. All right, here we go. Oh, these are definitely loud. All right, hold up, hold up. Now, let me, let me turn that bass on. Okay, we'll try this again. 
All right, now I just click the bass. Okay, this is maximum bass. I can already feel the vibrations. Hi, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo, yo, I don't know if y'all can hear this, but my whole body is vibrating right now. All right, this is high. Let me, let me, all right, let me. All right, that's off. This is medium. This is medium. Let's put it on max. Now, I don't know if y'all can hear this or not, but that bass, if y'all can hear this, my whole my whole upper body is vibrating with the bass. It's crazy. All right, let me, let, all right, let me get one more bass drop. Let me get one more bass drop. Oh, this is sick. All right, hold on. Here we go. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, I'm kind of nervous right now. I'm waiting for that bass. There it goes. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right, hold on. All right, I gotta switch. I gotta switch. Let me switch the angle. Let me switch the angle. All right, now look. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. As much as I love the Bose Soundwiz and I've been using them for years, these are without a doubt my new favorite neck speakers. And let me tell you why. It's that bass vibration. The bass vibration sounds so crazy, and you feel it in your whole body. This is amazing. Now check this out. I'm gonna watch Godzilla: King of Monsters and see how it feels when you're watching an action movie. All right, you see this? All right. Here we go. You gotta be fucking kidding. Here we go. Let me wait for the action. Woo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Woo! Yo, you could feel like all the footsteps. Woo! The bombs blowing up. Let me wait for the gunshots. This is intense. Ooh! <laughs> yo, yo, the gunshots. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Hold up. Yo, this is sick. Now, I can think of so many different uses for these already. Say you live in an apartment building and you want to watch a movie like Godzilla in the middle of the night and you don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood or you don't want to wake up people in your house. Put these around your neck. The experience, I, I feel like I'm sitting right now in my living room watching this on the surround sound. But it's better because you can actually feel it in your body. This is crazy. Also, imagine you got a newborn baby and they sleeping in the bed and you're sitting on the couch. You don't want to have headphones on. You want to hear the baby crying or you want to hear your phone ringing. Put these on. Now I can hear everything around me, but it's crazy. The bass, that's the difference. Now let me show you how you can do an easy trick at home to kind of simulate how these sound. Take your phone speaker, right? Put on a song and hold it up like this. You listen to that song, it sounds loud. Now take that same phone and rest it right on your shoulder underneath your ear you're gonna notice how all of a sudden your phone actually sounds louder because it's sitting right under your ear. Now imagine these speakers with all that bass and yo, three levels of bass, put it on maximum bass. Yo, the gunshots, this is insane, this is insane. Now, I wanna do a couple of more tests. I'm gonna connect it to my TV and check for latency and I also wanna check for some gaming. All right, so I just connected these to my TV and tested them out and this is a certified win. I literally love these speakers. Let me show you how easy the setup is. Grab your transmitter, plug in the power source, plug in your optical cable, the other end into your TV, hit that pairing button, sync them up, and you're good to go. Now, one of the benefits of not using Bluetooth and using RF technology is you got zero lag. So when you're watching your movies, zero lag latency. It's perfect. Now, I was also playing some video games, so I had Mortal Kombat on, and that extra bass feature is why I love these speakers so much. When you got your PlayStation controller in your hand and it's vibrating, the speakers are vibrating at the same time, it feels like you're inside the game. But at the same time, your ears are wide open, so you can hear your surroundings, you can hear your phone going off, you can hear your doorbell, you can hear your music, and it doesn't sound loud to the people that's sitting next to you. But for you, it's gonna sound crazy. These speakers are a major, major go. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, 
on a scale of one to 10, the Sony SRS WS1 is a major, major go. Are these worth 300 bucks? The answer is yes. Are these better than the Bose Soundware? The answer is yes. Now, as far as volume wise, they're pretty much the same, but when it comes to that extra bass, you're gonna hear and feel your music and your movies in a way that you can't do with the Bose. That's why I like these better. Now, my biggest gripe will be that there's no Bluetooth, so if you got a phone, you're gonna have to use this cable. Hey, it is what it is. But overall, these are so sick. Now, I'm glad I got two of these, so this way when me and my shorty are on the road and we go to a hotel, we can watch a movie and get that quality sound. You know when you're staying at a hotel, you're gonna get a regular TV with the cheesy sound? Get two of these and ride out like a boss. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.